It was a tough two legs to watch, but Rangers finally find out who they are playing in the qualifying third round for Champions League as Servette beat Genk on penalties. So, may as well talk about the game, and there's actually implications going into our tie after this one, because their main striker got sent off three minutes in after a VAR call, and you may be thinking, right, so hold on here, Servette, we're doing the 10 men for about 117 minutes, Factor in extra time, and they managed to survive. You bet your top rocker they did. Genk may went 1-0 up, but then Sofet pulled it back. Genk went 2-1 up, then Sofet pulled it back, and they managed to beat them on penalties. Personally, like, I know that may, it may look, make Genk look weak, and like, oh, well, maybe you'd rather actually play Genk, because they couldn't actually get the job done, but then I think Genk overall are the better team. You would have feared them on paper. And it's weird, because going into this, I actually said that out of the teams that we could pick, I would have picked either Genk or Servette, and that's exactly what we got. And some people are like, oh, I think we got the hardest tie possible. But let's be real, right? If we can't beat Servette, we don't belong in the Champions League. Add in the fact that their main striker, their top man, is suspended for both legs against us. Come on, man. This should be night and day. Now, albeit, yes, we don't have the, uh, the home tie in the second leg, which I prefer means you can like turn around a really bad result in the first leg. But let's be real, I think we should be blowing this team at the water in the first leg if we can perform like we can at home at Ibrox in Europe. Now, could we be looking at situations in the past in qualifying? Like you look at Malmo, the horse went there. Could be looking at something similar to that. Hopefully not. Let's look at last year when we, uh, you know, turned it around against Union St. Golose. 3-0, crucial wee penalty to Rangers though for half, half time that got us over the line. And then against PSV, we were pretty shite at home against them. We managed to like sneak a 2-2 draw. Of course, we had, uh, what even was the, f we had uh, Tom Lawrence's deflected free kick, but what was the other goal in that game? It was Cholak. Ah, yes, I remember. It was Cholak um, shot that went in. Um, so, yeah, for this game, we need to be putting it out of sight. We, we can't be going in away to Switzerland with a 2 1 victory. Ideally, you want 3. Ideally, you want 10 0, right? In an ideal world, yes. The more goals, the merrier in this instance. But for us, we have got Sofet. It's confirmed, of course, after today. I actually predicted that Sofet would go through with a draw. So there you go. Um, but mental that Genk could not break down a team at home who had. 10 men for 117 minutes. That's absolutely insane. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for that portion of the Fed because Glenn Kamara, this guy, the guy that we think we can't get rid of, also Sakal, may as well wrap it up. Look, it looked like 3 million earlier. Looks like it's back to 4 million. Ah, well, 4 million for Sakala. Whoop-de-doo. Glenn Kamara, though, he looks like he's out the door. I've seen a lot of people say that he threw his he threw his pa, uh, toys at the pram because his pals left last summer, and they were referring to Calvin Bassi and Joe Arrivo. I mean, that's quite embarrassing. Like that, this guy down tools because two of his fucking friends left. Oh, football friends! Come on, come on, Glenn. We need more for you, man. That's pretty much unacceptable. But it looks like for Kamara and for Sakal, will be will be netting near ten million. And it's, I mean, the fact that we're getting more for Kamara, even though he's not featuring and we're getting less for Sakala, it doesn't really bother me. We're getting 10 million for these two. Yes, brilliant. That can get two defenders in that can actually know how to defend. But it looks like he's preparing to quit Rangers in a 5.5 .5 summer transfer, whether it be Leeds, whether it be Wren, some French team, another championship team, Southampton. I don't give a fuck as long as some team paying the money, guys. But anyway, till next time, leave your thoughts down below. What do you think about Surfet? Did you want Surfet? I did. I wanted Surfet. The one team I looked at from all the teams available, it was Surfet. We've got them. Don't let us down, Billy boy.